Roller Coaster Attendant Society, which reminds you to always... <laughs> Injury or death. Hey kids, do you believe in a world of make believe? Yeah! Then you too are susceptible to identity theft. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. Who wants. Binge Pipe, lacking other options, will present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, we think we're right. <laughs> My name's Cookie Masterson, and due to a landslide vote, we're going to skip my song. Eight people at once? What is this? The weekly grown-ups party my mom hosts when I go to my ceramics class? So, let's make this happen. Time for question one. To get started... The dessert that dare not speak its name. It's true that we can't have our cake and eat it too, but... Let's say you wanted to eat your cake, then have it, uh, later. You have your reasons, okay? I'm, I'm no one to judge. In progression, how will your cake change its name before you can, <clears throat> have it back? Cake bolus kime poo, cake trochee bile poo, cake amylase lipid poo, or cake glomblum cecum poo? Let's see how that shook out. Okay, that's wrong, but I'm so glad you picked this one. Glomblum is a word I made up, and I want people to start using it. It, it can mean anything. I don't care. Glomblum. Make it viral. <coughs> After food is chewed, it's known as bolus. Then in the stomach, it becomes chyme before legally changing its name to poo. <laughs> and the best part is, it's all yours. You can have it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Take a good look at how's your Wi-Fi? Getting a good signal, I hope. Oh, also, what does Wi-Fi stand for? Wireless fidelity, wireless field, wireless firmware, or nothing? Okay, what'd you pick? Wi-Fi is just a catchy name that is not short for anything. The wireless industry needed something to call it, something better than its original name, IEEE 802.11. And now you know why. Phi. Why do we do it with free? This one's called basic witches and things are about to get fierce because it's time for a dis or dat i'm gonna read off seven names and for each one i want you to tell me if it's a character from the cartoon adventure time or a winner of rupaul's drag race don't think too hard i'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between adventure time or Drag Race. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Ice Queen. Hey, buddy. Sharon Needles. Strong. Jinx Monsoon. Sasha Velour. Cinnamon Bun. Y'all kind of stunk up the place, but you all... You failed in ways numbers can't truly explain. Binge Pipe customer retention protocol has been activated. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. 
The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. Use them wisely. Or don't. You do you. I don't need you anymore. Let's try Yacht Rock is Timeless. If you like piña coladas, prove it! What kind of liquor are you going to need? Tequila, rum, so watch out. <laughs> Player 2 dropped a screw on you guys. Please enjoy the large print edition of this question. And how do we do? According to the International Bartenders Association, a piña colada consists of pineapple juice, coconut juice, and white rum. Yeah, that screw is a good move, player two. Here's your extra cash. Behold, the pineapple expression. Which translated film title is using the Hawaiian word mahalo correctly? Mahalo for smoking? Uh-oh. Yeah, player six just screwed everybody. Let's see how you do without vowels. So who got it? Mahal no country for old men. Mahalo means thank you, as in the 2005 film, Thank You for Smoking. Nice screw job, Player 6. This is your cash now. <laughs> Round 1 is history. A voice. Show me the data, will ya? Currently, Player 3 is in the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are highly valued, but their scores are not. We have some more screws to help our targeted numbers. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. Time and fun stops for no one. Six trombones is not a parade. Try this on for size. Violent viral videos. If the queen of the Nile were also the queen of social media, then the online buzz would say Cleopatra met her end when she failed. The gold makeup challenge? The well, well. Player 8 just let loose a screw. Good luck following the bouncing answer. Hope you like what you picked. Sorry, no take backs. <laughs> Cleopatra is believed to have killed herself by allowing a snake to bite her. YouTube is a lot like Shakespearean theater. The videos are comedies and the comments are tragedies. Nicely screwed, Playrate. I believe this belongs to you. We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question that kills two birds with one stone or a question that kills one bird with two stones? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Here are the votes. We graciously accept your choice. Las Bears Je Moque de Moi. Set. Up next, a question that kills two birds with one stone. <coughs> this question has been arrested under suspicion of murder. The victim, two birds. The weapon, one stone. Which of the following items in this question's possession could be the murder weapon? You know, because it's a type of stone. Pharaoh, diorite, triticale, or amaranth. Mm -hmm. 
What'd you guys pick? This is an answer. <laughs> the preferred answer is Ferro, triticale, and amaranth are all whole grains. Diorite is the only stone. Okay, all jokes aside, this question is in custody for bird murder now, so we have to take it away. Thanks for your help. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next. Are you for Cantig kidding me? Which of these poorly self-constructed answers mentions the founder of IKEA? Stig Larsen, the answer of course is Stefan Ed- Look sharp. <laughs> Player one just let loose a screw. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. Okay, who chose what? Ingvar Kamprad founded IKEA in 1943. From and because the... Oh, sorry, I, I thought I assembled this question correctly, but there are a few leftover words. I, I'm sure that's not a bad sign. Nice screw job, player one. Spend this wisely. Oh, here's a good one. Ghosted. Reading which of these answers will not cause a supernatural entity to appear in my recording studio. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Samara, Samara, Samara. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Or Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. So what'd you pick? In the Ring franchise, Samara is summoned by watching a videotape, not by saying her name. Ooh. Oh great! Now this recording booth is haunted by more than just memories of the horrible punchlines I've had to read. And now... Ghosted also works as a category title for this question. Yeah, look, uh, these three ghosts are still here, and I'm worried they'll try to teach me the true meaning of Christmas, unless we find some other way to pass the time. What terrifyingly titled theatrical production could three ghosts and myself perform because it traditionally calls for a four-person cast? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, Death of a Salesman, The Phantom of the Opera, or Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? I love this part. <laughs> Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf features just four characters. Bloody Mary's Martha is pretty good, but Beetlejuice's Nick just dies on stage. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Saying the right thing in any language. Try not to embarrass yourself multilingually. Good luck.
Player 3 wins! I gotta hand it to you, Player 3. There are no small victories, except this one. You barely won. I guess what I'm saying is... Imagine a world. My god, the specimen. It's growing out of control. Where scientists go too far. Should we go in? No, seal the door. But still know how to follow proper protocol. Okay, the chemical shower killed it. <sighs> that could have been bad. Yeah, but it wasn't. Lunch? Hi, I'm Mike Builder, CEO of Jackbox Games. <laughs> Sorry, I mean VP of Binge Pipe Gaming. Everyone at what used to be Jackbox is thrilled to bring You Don't Know Jack to Binge Pipe. We've been working hard to make the best game possible, sometimes going weeks without sleep. And if the praise I've been getting from the invisible elves who live in my teeth is any indication, we've been very successful. But why stop there? Each time I take a sip of dark purple water from the Binge Pipe water cooler, I get a new million dollar game idea. Like Day Drinker, Pickle Police, Cyst Blaster 64, Toilet Race, too Many Wedding Guests, Space Deniers, Dank Meme Summer Camp, Guess My Stepdad, Everybody Help Grandma, Gamblity Blamblity Duplity Dee Do, and Wordspud 3. So if you love consumerism, keep your Binge Pipe subscription up to date and who knows what you'll see next. I'm Mike Builder, and I'm saying this of Mike Builder's own free will.